you know, confetti appear on the web page and, oh, you got in. And my parents were definitely reacting more loudly than I was. The next step of his journey had been determined. Jack would start college at Dartmouth in the fall of 2019. But where it would take him, not even Jack himself could have imagined. The Dartmouth administration had a very authoritarian, <laughs> zero COVID policy. I actually researched this and produced a video for the Dartmouth Political Times. One guy I knew who was falsely accused of being at one of the parties for Halloween. And the dean called him and forced him to a meeting where she yelled at him for breaking COVID policy. With a lack of options for traditional college activities, Jack started an internship at the American Institute for Economic Research. That's where Ethan Yang, now my roommate, one of my best friends, that's where our friendship and professional working relationship began. I heard about SFL from Ethan. He strongly encouraged me to join SFL. I went through the door to Narnia, the wardrobe, and on the other side was this whole expansive, fantastical world of libertarian academics and journalists and intellectuals and pundits and politicians and business people. Students for Liberty became his primary platform for activism and for networking. There, Jack hit his stride, taking on multiple roles that promoted classical liberalism while still navigating his academic life. After that summer, I was burning the candle from both ends. I resigned as regional coordinator. Jack would not stay silent for long. He became an active writer and collaborator for numerous publications, such as the Dartmouth Review, the Dartmouth Political Times, and the Learn Liberty blog. Meanwhile, SFL started a new program focusing on specific areas of professional development, including media and content creation. By then, Jack was ready to return and pour his passion for writing into something he believed in, Locksmith Magazine, a publication created by SFLers that features articles on classical liberal philosophy and economic policy. Locksmith, in the sense that really our role is to pass on the torch of liberty, to kindle the flame of liberty in other people. Jack's objectives and his passion for liberty remained a constant, despite constant obstacles, including authoritarian policies that forced him to turn away from the university he had always dreamed of attending. Thanks to his involvement with SFL, today his resume includes the Cato Institute, the National Review, the Competitive Enterprise Institute, the Koch Internship Program, and the New Civil Liberties Alliance, among others. And Students for Liberty made me aware of this whole ecosystem of friends, mentors, employers, co-workers that fundamentally altered what I was doing in college and what I wanted to do after college. When you partner with SFL, you support thousands of students like Jack in finding their way to create a freer future.